Hi. So I'm testing this new uh, demo of a game that's coming out soon, uh, Voidborn. I saw it on Twitter. Um, amazing new discoverability for that's been pretty good for UE games. Um, managed to get motion controls working in it. Um, now this was an interesting one because it only really has keyboard support. And uh, there's like a Xbox controller mapping for a keyboard, but it doesn't translate to the controllers. Um, you can see that the menus are, I have to use the mouse and that there's no mouse cursor, so I have to kind of show that and hide it again. Um, but this is uh, UE 4.27.2, so um, motion controls are looking good, head aim, stuff like that. Um, but to get around the motion controls, I'm using a program called um, OpenVR to key. So I'm, I'm having to use OpenVR here, not uh, OpenXR. Uh, but this allows you to map um, OpenVR controls to keyboard button presses. Um, now this was my very first pass at making a key binding for this game uh, for the touch controllers so it's a little bit scuffed uh, honestly I'll probably need to make another crack at it because there's a um, a dash, a slide, a, like a, a blink like in Dishonored um, there's like a fireball, a push, uh, like an alternate fire um, so there's a lot of controls um, and like switching weapons um, the because the, the the program, I'll, I'll link it below um, and I'll explain later, only accepts um, keyboard presses. You can't do like mouse clicks or um, scroll wheel, for example. Um, but luckily in, in the kind of open VR Steam bindings, you can do uh, what's called a chord. So like oh, if you hold down right grip and then do like right joystick up. I can set that to like a change weapon so I've, I've done that here but stupidly also had like slide <laughs> for my right grip so I'm gonna need to like rethink what I bind this to so if it looks super awkward and I'm like confused <laughs> that's why because I was just kind of like trying to figure out my control mapping for this game um, and I'm falling in the lava but the freed off motion controls working really good um, all the UI is great runs super smooth um, it's got this kind of like old school style to it which I, I love I, I honestly thought it was a Unity game when I saw it on Twitter so I was really surprised when I just downloaded the demo and had a look at the, the files that it was UE um, this pickup menu thing um, <laughs> I, I realised it was fine when I was playing it with a keyboard and mouse and a controller and stuff um, before but I think what I've selected f to b which was like right thumb stick it like didn't like it <laughs> i've like bugged the menu out um and I, I couldn't like escape or anything so i had to just like reload um being pretty dumb <laughs> so apologies for that i'm just figuring out oh this is completely <laughs> bug so i need to like adjust my controller options a bit um but yeah, that's a key part. It's like a kind of roguelike, so you go through different rooms, go into different enemies, you get upgrades for your stuff, uh, and then off the end of each run you can like upgrade your weapons. Um, it does look pre pretty promising. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> apologies uh, for this. Uh, this is me for trying to figure out if I can get rid of it by like loading into a new area. I think I, I just give up and reload from the beginning again. Um, but yeah, so uh, this is actually my first time using the Open VR to Key um, application, and uh, now I'm thinking about it. Th this will actually be a way for me to like map some keyboard keys to stuff like Ready or Not, or um, some other games that just like had keyboard only and or, or just like really bad default mapping as well. Um, I could make maybe a, a more comfortable mapping. Uh, I know uh, me and the others are going to play Demonologist later on, um, so, um, and, and that one also has the same kind of problem where you have like movement with the sticks, but like none of the buttons do anything, um, and they're like quite specific, like keyboard keys. So uh, I need to think about making a map for them uh, so to make it a bit more pleasant, so we can use the motion controls at the same time. See, there's that, that uh, blink ability from like Dishonored. Uh, and uh, what's pretty good is the, the crosshair is actually pretty accurate. Um, I'm just missing my shots because I'm terrible, and I think there's like a accuracy stat that you can upgrade. Um, like a headshot one. Uh, so there's like a shotgun, like a rifle, a pistol, and there's like this fireball thing that has kind of um, Unreal Tournament vibes where you can shoot it when it's in midair and it explode. Yeah, you can see me like forgetting that I've got like the slide button. Um, 
but the, the, the movement mechanics in this are like super deep so um i think once i've kind of got the control layout down uh, and practiced a bit i think uh, it'll be quite quite slick The uh, purple and orange aesthetic uh, is quite popular. <laughs> These stray lights in that game I played the other day has this like purple and orange look. Um, I kind of hope the color changes later on in the game, but I, I see it's like the purple void, uh, born uh, kind of looks like this. But it seems like the the new trendy color combination is this orange and purple. If anything, the health bar should be orange rather than red. <laughs> Uh, and you can actually uh, disable internal for UI as um, there's a setting for that, which I don't know whether it will get rid of like the vignette for like damage or not. Um, it's kind of annoying getting like that 2D plane when you do a, an effect. Uh, maybe I can disable that. I see that's pretty cool, especially if you, you land it. Um, Yeah, I was uh, I was a bit puzzled with uh, bindings, but like for this game, I was like, I I need to play some motion controls. <laughs> I can't play with just keyboard and mouse. Uh, even though I did try and I recorded a bit before with uh, head aiming and keyboard, like oh, I just wanted to use the, the 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 keyboard map. And it's a good practice actually for some other games to just force myself to make a mapping. Um, so I kind of. Uh, I'm just kind of like reloading again, just kind of having a look. Um, also, I should probably set like the L3 and R3 onto the control uh, onto the controller somehow, so I can bring up the menu. Because otherwise, you have to do like the or, or shift and insert. Uh, but I don't think Open TVR you can do like keyboard combinations, just like a single button press. Um, I realize I'm not leveled up enough. But um, anyway, I will go into the Open TVR program just quickly explain what I did. So um, the, the link to this GitHub page, which is the kind of white box on the left, the right one, if you've got your headset connected and you've got Steam VR open, uh, you can just open the bindings menu, uh, like the show UI old application things, uh, and then you can edit this. Now, um, by default, like all, all the keys on the keyboard are kind of have a... Um, so don't touch those, like the key right, one, two, three, four, five, key left, one, two, three, four, five. Um, I'm just showing actually the chords. So I was just uh, editing the chords of like combinations. Uh, I actually set those to uh, like key trigger, one, two, three, four, which aren't like mapped at all on the the, um, the actual button. Now, once you know like, okay, my right grip is right key eight, you can go over to right key eight in the application and just bind that to like a keyboard press like F or Q or spacebar or uh, sadly not mouse clicks. Uh, but that was how I was able to achieve this kind of like custom motion control. Um, and, and then you just save that as a, as a binding and load it up when you're in OpenVR. Um, but yeah, this is something where I'm probably gonna have to get a piece of paper out and write what key does what and um, <laughs> uh, and then going over to the game menu, kind of making sure because like the the fire was um, default to mouse click. So I changed it to M and N on the keyboard just so I could map it to to the touch controllers. Um, you see here I'm like changing you can change the dash and the um, yeah, you got an ultimate there. I didn't, <laughs> didn't even have a mapping for that. Um, so it's things like that I'm going to have to work out. But I hope that's been interesting and catch you next time.